and you're good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the July 15th VRML game of the night. Guys, I am Pig on PC, and tonight I have what? Uh, I, I'm so excited. I have such an exciting game for you guys. We've got two top contending teams out here tonight. Guys, we've got Resin Mafia and Murphy's Maniacs out here going toe to toe. Guys, I am so excited about these two teams. Taking a quick look here, it looks like, I mean, we already know these two teams, guys. We know that they've got a lot of great players out there, but here's just a few of them. Dubsham 432, Craftomic, Framed Lil Zambi, Murph, uh, Murph the Maniac, guys. Let's take a look over here at Murphy's Maniacs. He's number one out there, Ace of Spades, Captain Catmids. Guys, these are all top players, and I can't wait to see what they have to offer. I hope everybody out there is as excited as I am to be here. Joining me for my very first VRML stream. Now guys, we're gonna be kicking things off here very soon. Very soon indeed. I noticed on the boards here, this team, <laughs> you guys, you guys really had a preference in who you think are, are gonna win tonight. Looks like Resin Mafia, 33 upvotes on them, 10, 10 on Murphy's Maniac. <laughs> guys, you clearly have a favorite. I'm equally as excited for both. But it would be cool to see Murphy's Maniacs being the underdog swoop in or something. <laughs> I just got to say. Folks, we've got a lot to talk about tonight, including top plays. We know some of these players have what it takes to take some top plays, but joining me out here on Bazaar for a game of Uplink. Well, guys, this is just going to be phenomenal. Right off the bat, guys, we see strategies coming into mind as Craftomic, Lil Zambi, Dubsham, and the rest all split off into different directions. This is an awesome uplink point, by the way, guys. This is a phenomenal spot, if you're not familiar. This uplink is a very challenging one because, as you can see, it's kind of tucked in the corner there. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, guys, this is... <laughs> I mean, oh, we got shots coming in over here. Craftomic tossing that nade out unsuccessfully, but then getting downed right across the way there by Ace of Spades, 122. And on the back end, he heard the commotion. Lembowski hits the deck. Dubsham keeping that cover fire, though. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of pressure on Ace of Spades right now, and Sweet Bean manages to pull it off.
What did I say, guys? What did I say? Phenomenal plays out here. Phenomenal plays. Folks, if you're new around here, let me go ahead and bring you up to speed. This is VR Master League, okay? And this is where some of the best of the best and onward go toe to toe. This is where men and women figure out their top strategies and come out here, put it into action and try to take home victories, guys. This is it. And we've just seen it happen out there. Guys, Rebuff Reality, you ever heard of them? They're one of VRML sponsors, as well as VR Cover. Two amazing companies. But right now, things are about to start heating up again. By the way, guys, a correction on that last round. There was actually a cap. Believe that, guys. There was a two-pointer put out there. And right now, guys, we're riding down here with the Maniacs. What have these men up to? What could they be thinking? Only time will tell tonight. Well, Zambi keeping a watchful eye there on the corner. Catching in with Craftomic as well, guys. Folks, he's doing fantastic out there. Look at him keeping the keeping a low profile. Watching with Ace of Spades here, guys, as he creeps around the north end. We've got engagements in the tunnel as Ace of Spades excellently drops Silas down. On the objective, we've got more fire coming in. Ace of Spades takes another one before getting taken down himself by Dubsham, who also got downed by Lembowski. Folks, a two and one is what happened out here. Great plays, great plays indeed. We love seeing the smokes being used on the objectives. That is something that I would love to see happening more. Using smokes on objectives or anywhere provides such an excellent improvised field cover. If you aren't using smokes, you're probably thinking to yourself right now, why should I switch? Well, let me tell you, how many times have you been shot while crossing open cover? There's your answer. If it's more than zero, you should use it.
Getting things started with a fresh objective out here in the southeast corner of the bazaar. Silas, the way I was rotating was nowhere near the objective. Looked because I heard them coming from behind in blue room. And I fucking looked behind me for a second and looked back and there was smoke on OBJ. I was like, fuck! We surely hear some engagements coming across the way here as we see a lot of lines starting to cross. Sweet Bean tanking it. And Lil Zambi drops the res. Rather, Lil Zambi gets res. Sweet Bean. <laughs> Finally finishing the job on Zambi. See Silas slowly creeping alongside Craftomic. Ace of Spades down. over here. He's taking some pop shots, guys. Dubsham managing to down Lambowski with absolute military precision. Here we go, folks. This is what it's about. Dubsham continuing his reign of terror with Craftomic. Murphy the Maniac manages to drop a res on Lambowski out here, guys. Sweet Bean taking shots from the far east. Not connecting with Framed, though. And Craftomic spots the opportunity to finish Sweet Bean. Now, Kraft did get down there, but Framed makes his way over for the res. And the defense begins to settle in. Folks, they've got about 3 minutes, 50 seconds to hold this down. And I believe in them. The way they're playing this so far, I believe in them. Currently four up on the defense. Kraftomic. You see him in the background there, taking a slow but subtle and careful peek through that corner. And it pays off as he downs Murphy the Maniac. Silas going to try something similar on the opposite side here. Ace of Spades gets picked off by Silist, who took a little detour and framed, joins him on the objective. A couple of smokes popping out there. Lambowski watching it. Will he be able to clutch it as Captain Catman sneaks in on the back end? Silist takes Lambowski out. Framed on the objective here. He's got one job. Will he be able to pull it off? And he does successfully pull off a second cap on the July 15th VRML game to be remembered, folks. Resin Mafia versus Murphy's Maniacs. I told you you were in for a show. We're going to switch things up here and go to an all-new map. Quarantine. Let's see if the Maniacs can go on attack.
folks, I'd like to take a moment to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Pig on PC in 4K. You may not have heard of me, but uh, I've been around in the Onward community for a little while and fell in love with this game as soon as I saw it. As soon as I heard about it, I knew. I was like, that's the game for me. And fast forward several years later, here I am playing alongside and enjoying being able, thankfully tonight, to cast alongside some of the top contending players VRML has to offer. I hope you're all uh, just as glad to have me as I am to be here. And I know Quarantine is going to put on one heck of a show for all of us back at home. And we're getting ready to get this next round underway. Murphy's Maniac's going to be donning the Marsock apparel. As we see the Mafia spawning in on the northwest side. like Zambia and Craftomic are going to be trying to make some sort of great offensive defensive line here. Little Zambia begins this play by peeking it here. And on the far side, it's Craftomic who manages to pick up the first kill. It's Ace of Spades who hit the deck there. Sweet Bean winds up flashed thanks to Craftomic. Dubsham's got his back as Murphy pushes the hill. Murphy hits the deck. Sweet Bean's still alive over here. Don't, don't forget, folks. He was blinded by the light, but he is still alive. Dubsham finishes off Limbowski. You heard Craftomic coming in there, folks. That was amazing. Scratch three. So confident. Scratch four. Scratch four. Folks, the patience paid off for Sweet Bean. He took his sweet time, and Sweet Bean managed to pull off one mean kill on Craftomic. I don't know if Craft forgot about him, but that was some serious, serious patience right there. And he might, it might pay off once again. Oh, little Zambi wisely chooses to turn the other way at the last moment. And unfortunately, Sweet Bean ultimately hits the deck, giving the first win to Resin Mafia on Quarantine. I don't know about you guys, but that's some good old-fashioned onwarding right there. I'm glad we got to bear witness. Taking a quick look at the boards here, we've got Dubsham 432 rocking it. Top of the boards right now, 2-0 for Resin Mafia. Lest we forget about Craftomic out there, solid 2-1 and one on the KDs. Unbelievable stuff by that man. Only two men out there with a solid 2 on the KDs, guys. And then if you take a quick gander at Murphy's Maniacs over here, not a single solid one of them with the two in that kill column. Guys, Sweet Beans topping it out there for the Murphy's Maniac squadron, and he's got a 1-1 one -one in the KDs, guys. So, I mean, I, I mean, they're all doing great, but I'm just saying. Right now, Dub Sham is on top of it, and so is Kraft. Honestly, honestly, they're all putting on a great show. Dude. 
And we're back in the action right now. Riding alongside Murphy's Maniacs. What, what a beautiful job they did last round trying to make something happen. They just didn't pull it off, but guys, folks, they really did their best. One going to ramp. Already hearing engagements. Dubsham once again on top of it with an M249 taking to Sweet Bean. Lil Zambi picks Murphy off. Silas, Lil Zambi on top of it right now. Multiple kills happening at once. Craftomic killing Ace of Spades there finally in the end. And folks, that puts an end to the round. Wow. Wow. That was quick. A 2 and 0 right now in the lead by Resin Mafia. Folks, if you're watching back at home and you're thinking, man, oh man, I sure would love to take my VR love and booty down into the VR circuit that is VRML. Well, then let me tell you something. You yourself can do that, my friend. All you've got to do is swing by the website, vrmasterleague.com slash onward. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna make a run on there, but I, I didn't, I didn't. But swing on by VRMasterLeague.com slash onward if you care to. They have a whole slew of different games, guys. If you enjoy Echo or otherwise, feel free to swing by. Register as a teammate. Register as a reservist. Register as a caster. And folks, bear with me there's any uh females in the audience i know i keep saying guys that's just a force of habit i do apologize i mean to be all inclusive i really do everybody should be able to sit here and enjoy some onward looking back at the scoreboards here we got dub sham 432 craftomic lil zambi all three of those men all three of those men on resin mafia all three of those men right now with positive kds three in the kill columns Next round getting started. Smoochy boochies, boys and gals. Murphy's Maniacs have their work cut out for them. And y'all, this is round three. So they still have time to take this home. The question is, will they be able to? Sweet Bean, a class favorite for his slow and steady camp there last time. We see Craftomic over there taking the grunt of that fire. <laughs> we see him wisely staying very, very low on that staircase, folks. And uh, that's something right there. I love to see players getting fully engaged in the game where they're laying down on the floor. They're trying their hardest. Murphy, the maniac, just down framed and in a trade, no less. Craftomic just manages to pull the trigger in the right amount of time and picks himself off one. Folks, what seems to be happening right now is that three Marsakian men have split off to the east side. If you're not familiar with this map, 
This is quarantine. This is the map where flanks matter. This is where you can change the entire ball game with one good flank. So that defense right there, Mr. Dubsham, who's playing his heart out. He's got Sweet Bean and the rest to contend with. Crafty, still keeping crafty. True to his name, I love that. Nothing more than a true to the name player out here, keeping it true to the name. <laughs> All right. Really is keeping crafty though, staying low out there. Sweet Bean trying to keep that rotation going. Right now, this is pretty evenly matched in a four to four situation. Sweet Bean still peeking it there on the corner and on the far side of him. Ace of Spades is definitely looking to pinch Craftomic and Lil Zambi. Rolling along here, we spot Lil Zambi tucked in the corner there. Doing a great job staying low. The engagement sure to come is going to be either from Dubsham and Captain Catmint or Lembowski and Lil Zambi. But surprise, folks, it's Craftomic who's taking shots in that upstairs hospital sector. He's aiming back. I do believe he spotted Sweet Bean. Catmint and Dubsham come ever so much closer. Catmint finally coming out on top there. A great push, a great play, very sneaky maneuver. Keeping things along though, Lil Zambi manages to down and kill Lambowski with absolute precision. That's what he's known for, Lil Zambi and his precision-like killing strategies. Wow, wow, that grenade was so close. I think that came from Ace. And you see Capman making his push right there alongside him. This is what teamwork's about right here, folks. Now a 2v2. Sweet Bean manages to come in just in the nick of time there. As Ace of Spades throws that smoke out, we were just talking about that improvised cover, folks. That's how handy it comes in as Sweet Bean manages to set one down. Will he be able to set two upon the floor? Ace of Spades stops his cap. To finalize the win right there for Murphy's Maniacs, folks, that is how you play onward. That right there, that is fantastic gameplay. A two to two, Ace of Spades rock, rocking it out there. Solid 1.0 on the board, and Sweet Bean finally earning a three in the kill column. Four and one on the first map. Two and one thus far. Who's going to take it home, folks? Who's going to take it home? It's anybody's game right now. It's anybody's game. Put your money down. Anybody can take this home. to say special thank you to the sky joker running behind the scenes right now to give you guys a fantastic show 
the honorable mention of the night. Rebuff Reality, folks, we were talking about them a wee bit ago, as well as VR Cover. Both sponsors of the RML. Both fantastic, fantastic people. So we're getting things started for round four. With a one to two right now, if the defense does have their work cut out still. They need they need to hold this defense down if they want to take home a win tonight, folks. That's what they've got to do. And we know that Sweet Bean has the capability of doing that. We've seen that proven twice now out here in this game alone. So what will the Marsakians do? One coming south right now. Coming with East going to South Dunes. Multiple coming west. Craftomic manages to down Lebowski, but then gets downed himself by Catmint. Zambi held up there. Folks, will he be able to make it out alive? Catmint knows that little Zambi's in there. We heard it on the manager's comms, Lil Zambi was saying. And there it is, folks, framed. Frame taking one down before Sweet Bean manages to down Silas. Zambi trying to hold down that offense. Right now, a solid three and three. There's also another one at the rock, Delta. Framed with expert precision out here, aiming at that rooftop. What is he going to do? He's going to shoot the man who's on the rooftop. Why? Because he's got the skill. Sweet Bean nearby. What is he going to do? And Sweet Bean unfortunately hits the deck. Thanks to Framed, who made a fantastic flank there. On the far end, Murphy the Maniac also hits the deck. Thanks again to Framed. Ace of Spades, shooting one, but getting shot himself by the madman, Dub Sham, from across the way. And that right there, folks, is how Resin Mafia went down on the July 15th VRML Games history books as a three and one in round four. See ProTube popping up out here. Folks, we've all heard of ProTube. ProTube and Asterion, two more fantastic VRML sponsors joining us tonight alongside Cyber Shoes. Now with Resin Mafia banning downfall and Murphy's Maniacs burning, <laughs> banning cargo, guys, I think that third map is going to be <laughs> it's going to be it's anybody's guess. I I have no idea. But folks, here we go. 
we've got another fantastic round queuing up right now. Down on the field now. Man, I hope they weren't hovering over us. With the Vulcans for round five. Now, Sweet Bean did fantastic work out there earlier. Four and three right now on the KDs. No. Nothing to be ashamed of. I got one over here, uh, north to north, going far north. Yeah, I'm going to have two over here for sure. Here we go. Look at those lines. Yep, I'm already being shot at. I don't know from where. <laughs> Dub Sham getting that call out. Folks, those lines right there just prove it. That proves the skill that these guys are coming out here with. They're checking those spots as soon as it becomes available. There it is, folks. There's that push and play by Murphy the Maniac successfully pushing and downing Dubsham. With the force of a thousand Marsak, he managed to storm him and take him down. Boom, Lambowski hits the deck, courtesy of Lil Zambi, just before Murphy the Maniac pops it out there, spotting him and putting him on the deck as well. Look at this war zone framed out here. Having things thrown and throwing things back. Bit of a tight predicament here. But Murphy the Maniac trying to make the best of it as he does what he's done, what he's known best for doing, which is simply pushing the enemy and taking them down. See Silas trying to make that play and he does it, but oh, fortunately he got taken down in the, in the process. And Murphy's Maniacs manages to come back with another score. Folks, that's a three and two right now. Unbelievable stuff as Resin Mafia is still in the lead right now, but Murphy's Maniacs makes a fantastic comeback. Moth absolutely right. That was a very fast switch out there, by the way. Uh, talking about that play earlier. Uh, the one where... I believe it was, oh golly. Whew, man, I can't even remember who the player was right now, but he was out there, if you guys recollect, <laughs> on the uplink, trying to take the uplink when a man came around the corner with a gun raised and with a matter of milliseconds passing, managed to uh, swap from his iPad to his weapon and take him down. Uh, no, matter, no matter what uplink you're imagining, it's an impressive feat. So we queue up and prep ourselves for another round. The Vulcans in the underbelly of the map right now hoping to be able to hold down the defensive in quite the strategic way. 
slowly creeping outward now. And folks, if we've learned anything from Resin Mafia so far, it's that they play pretty aggressive. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not they change that play style or if they just keep going for it. Here it comes, folks. The shots. Craftomic downing Lebowski, but Lebans uh, Lebowski out there downing and successfully killing Craftomic, one of the most lethal men on the field right now with a solid eight and five on the KDs, guys. That was probably the best thing that he could have done for the defense. Captain Catmint with that precision from the rooftop. Murphy the Maniac there running alongside, trying to get to a good position, folks. And Sweet Bean manages to down another. <sighs> we watched there as Silas gets picked off by Murphy, Murphy the Maniac and Framed is in a bit of a pickle. Going low and slow, probably his best move. He's going to have a Maniac to deal with at the end of the street. Do you think he's prepared? Looks like Maniac backs off just a little bit. Nope, he's back. And he might have something to say. <laughs> he might have something to say. Wow, folks, I love when this happens. I love when the players are just a mere matter of meters from one another. <laughs> and they're just circling like sharks, looking for the blood. Murphy came so close right there. You saw the lines. You almost saw him spotting frame. Oh, man, that's just <laughs> that's good old fashioned onward right there. It's a 4v1 situation, so frame does need to be very, very, very careful. If he plans to make that assault come true. If if Resin Mafia has hopes of winning right now with a five in the in the win column then everything hinges on Framed. Sweet Bean takes down Framed. A three and three right now, evening the scoreboard on the July 15th VRML. Game of the century, Resin Mafia versus Murphy's Maniacs on quarantine right now. A great game with round six out there looking fantastic. A three and three, I can't believe it. Looking at the board here, we've got Sweet Bean. We talked a good bit about him earlier. Looking at his scores, though, how's he doing out there? Eight and three right now in the KDs. Then, in a close second place, it's Craftomic, eight and five. Fantastic work by both teams, putting out high numbers on the kill columns. That's what we love to see out here in the VRML games. Who else is out there? Who else is out there proving themselves to be top contending VRML players? Murphy, the Maniac, 5-5 five and five right now, one in the res. Honorable mention to Lil Zambi for getting a one in the res column, too. Let's get this next round started. Southwesterly objective for the Vulcan squad to defend as Silas Craftomic and the gang begin to move out. They're going to have an assault coming at them from directly north this time. Zambi stations up, prepping his armament for the engagement with which he came into. 
Didn't manage to get anybody. But Marsocker definitely, definitely posting up. Folks, whoever takes down the last man on the enemy Burning team will stairs. win this right now. This is as close as you come. Both teams playing for all the marbles on map two. On the far side, it's the Captain way. who's taken some shots there. Not a single man downed yet. Except for Framed, who just got downed with an SA-80 by Murphy the Maniac. The Marsock Madman continues his assault, but his fate was brought to a short end by Dubsham 432, unfortunately for him. But folks, there are it's a pretty it's a pretty even board right now, four to four. And this is beautiful right here as we see them all begin to converge on that objective. The problem for them will be that not all of the Vulcans are on the objective. Cat mid manages to spot little Zambi in that two story and takes him down. Catmint just got the call out. Gas station white car we heard on the manager's comms here. And Captain's going to be getting pushed right now. Will he be able to hear that call out and take advantage of Dubsham's aggressive movement across the field? Yes, he will. Breaking in the kills right now. Four to two. Murphy's Maniacs. The... Uh, the stronger numbers right now. We see Kraft wisely beginning to tuck himself in. He's got a wild ride for the next three minutes. It looks like it's going to be Captain Cadman, Days of Spades, Lombowski, and Sweet Bean. We're going to be the remaining men to make this assault. Making a very sneaky play here is Lammy, and he manages to take Silas down. And another. Bringing home a win for Murphy's Maniacs is exactly what Limbowski just did. Wow, folks. Wow. I promised you a show, and that's what you're going to get right here on VRML Channel 3. A 4-1 and one in Resin Mafia's favor on Bazaar. But a 4-3 and three in Murphy's Maniacs' favor on Quarantine. Third map, anybody's game. Who's taking it home? Anybody's game. Who's the top player tonight? anybody <laughs> folks thanks so much for having me here too uh again this is my first time joining you all here on vrml uh it's an absolute pleasure to be here hosting uh hosting for all of these great players and hosting for all of you great viewers at home too how you guys are starting to feel about this one i see rotten grapes is starting to get a little bit of animal house versus silent purge flashbacks well all i can say is amen to that brother now i'll be honest with everybody when i was asked to uh to join the vrml team I did not think I was going to get the pleasure of casting such an exciting game. I didn't think my very first one would be 
presenting me with so many fantastic opportunities uh, to talk to you guys about the strats that have been put on out here. But I'm glad it's happening. And we move on to map three. Which is going to be the subway. I don't know if it's possible, but uh, if it were possible, it'd be fantastic to take a look at uh, one of those replays from earlier. <clears throat> if that were possible, though, that would be just amazing. And uh, if it weren't possible, well, then that's acceptable too, guys. And gals, let's talk about Resident Mafia and Murphy's Maniacs for a moment. Let's talk about the fact that both of these teams have come out here so far. They've both played their hearts out. They've both taken everything that they have, every ounce of their courage, every every single morsel that they have, and they've put it as far down and onto the field as they can possibly get. These folks are out here trying their best to take home this map. This is the finale right here. This is what decides the victor. This is map three, and we've got a one in the win column. Uh, excuse me, a four, a four in the win column win column for resin mafia on bizarre and a four in the quarantine column or in the kill column for quarantine on murphy's maniac side i'm gonna get it right <laughs> oh man looks like we're just waiting on one more right now and then we'll get things underway Looking like an underground objective this time, folks. I am even more excited than I was a few minutes ago about it. This objective right here is known for its capable positions, but also the defense positions behind the soda machine in the corners. Uh, I mean, this place, this place is a killing, uh, a killing grounds, really. Uh, you can come in all the way at the far side. You can come in through either one of the stairwells. This objective is arguably one of my favorite. Out of all maps, I, I would say this is probably my favorite. And hopefully these players have what it takes to come out here. And uh, looks like the players of Resin Mafia, in fact, hopefully the players of Resin Mafia are going to be able to come out here and take advantage of that positioning and get out there and uh, get themselves a cap. Ah uh, yes, my uh, my stream manager just chimed in. Uh, apparently, uh, breaking news here for me, coming in hot out. I didn't realize it was going to be so hot. Uh, hot off the press, Murphy is a female, and so all the times I said he, <laughs> greatly apologize about that. <laughs> but um, you know, you know just as well as anybody else that we love you, and uh, we love seeing you come out here and play your heart out, every single one of you. Male or female, every single one of you have played an awesome game tonight. And there's one game left. And now that we've got the gender figured out, we're going to call this thing out with the precision. Well, with the precision of, uh, of Dubsham or Murphy, those last couple of rounds. <laughs>
seven and five overall in Residence Mafia in uh, <laughs> in Resident Mafia's favor. As we get things underway. Marsock getting their place figured out. And Crafty here. He's going to take an under the passage type of movement. That right there is, uh, <laughs> going to be honest, another one of my favorite ways to go, folks. This whole underground business. It's a beautiful, beautiful layout to the map. Tunnel. Sweet being the class favorite sitting there ready with something in hand. What could it be? Oh, that right there was a heartbreaker for both me and Sweet Bean, and I'm sure a few of you at home as well. Sweet Bean did a great, great job there by trying to make that happen, though. Possibly one confirmed. And a pretty solid Nate throw there as well. Now the question is, will all of this, this fire scarecraft off? The answer is no. On the other side, Ace of Spades manages to down Lil Zambi, who also manages to down Ace of Spades. And it's Sweet Bean who comes out on top of this engagement. Two-man movement coming down the staircase here. Pushing Captain Catmint slowly but surely. Silas and framed. Begin their assault. Wow, beautiful play right there, showing you how it's done. And Dubsham making his push down the stairs here. Man, oh man, that right there is that precision we were just going on about. Dubsham successfully pushing this objective. The, one of the hardest objectives, arguably, to push. And downing two, killing two. One left. We talked about this early in the map. Look for that fantastic player's holding down behind the Coke machine. Successfully ending the reign of tyranny by Dub Champ is Murphy, the maniac. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. A 1 0 in the win column, courtesy of your girl Murphy the Maniac, folks. A fantastic play. That's what we love to see out here on the VRML games, folks. That right there. We talked about this. We said this is anybody's game. This truly is anybody's game. If you put money down on one team, you better see if you can take your bets back because this right here is where everything reaches an end. This is where two teams finally, finally finalize everything that they've been fighting so hard for over the last hour. Next round, sure to be underway very shortly.
So it's the Maniacs who are coming back with a vengeance right now. Seven and six total score. Let's see if they can make it seven and seven. No Snoochie Boochies. Oh, yeah, no Snoochie Boochies. No Snoochie Boochies. There's explosives. C4. People be on those main, the main stairs, like the whole main <laughs> one areas to check all the trains. Underway with round two here. As the Marsoc spawning in the same spot as last time begin to make their assault. I just hope they watch their angles when they come out, come out of those angles and watch the trains and all that. <laughs> Love seeing that. Craftomic getting crafty out there with the C4. And will he do it? Yes, he will. Successfully spotting and downing Lembowski with that precision once again from almost all the way across the field down there. Take a quick look at that again. Craftomic just set down that C4 and then goes out here to finish things. And Dubsham out here on the live cam, successfully downing and killing Murphy the Maniac. Sweet Bean also picks Crafty up. Dubsham managed to down one just before getting downed himself by the honorable mention here by Captain Catmint. Folks, this is a three to two situation in Resin Mafia's favor. Four minutes and 45 seconds remain for them to make this play. And I personally believe that they definitely can do this. Silas holding down a great position down here, staying low. <laughs> we see a couple of, uh, see a couple of uh, C4 detonators out there as well. Wonder what those are for. Caught a glimpse there of Sweet Bean using that flashlight to his tactical advantage. And it's actually Catmint who gets the first pick off. But that won't slow Sweet Bean down. Right now, a two to two situation, pretty evenly matched frame and Silas beginning to hold down that defense. Sweet Bean gives his position up. Spot Silas, I believe. Nope, negative. Silas is wrapped all the way safely around that wall. And smokes on the far side here by Catmint. Will they be able to time this right? That's the question. Sweeping goes down. Catman makes the push and goes down himself. Very unfortunate. If you were on the Murphy's Maniac squad, Resin Mafia picks up a one in the win column, tying things up once again, folks, keeping this a very, very close and evenly matched map. Leading overall by, I just believe, one point. I'll scratch that, that's actually two. They're ahead by two points. Resin Mafia ahead by two overall right now. But I think the slogan of the game so far has been, uh, it's anybody's game. And that remains true even till now.
And as we queue up for the next one, let's talk about one of our sponsors, Cyber Shoes. Check them out at cybershoes.com. Make Cyber Shoes for Oculus Quest now. How about them apples? Just because of that, they're on sale now for $349. But now it is time for us to get underway with what will be a great round three. Now that objective sitting snug in the center is going to be the Maniacs who hold this one down. We hear in the background there a nade going off. I believe that was for framed. It might have been Craftomic. Craft now tosses a couple of smokes down before getting exploded. And Zambi knows what to do. Beautiful angle there as Lombowski hits the deck, unfortunately, due to the gun of Framed. Framed successfully downing him and killing him. Two and one right now on the scoreboard. Here's a quick look at that again, if you missed that beautiful angle. Right here is the moment where Lombowski got domed, unfortunately, by his enemy. And Sweet Bean downs Framed. See Silas down here holding tight. There's what happened. Man, oh man. That was an awesome play, though, nonetheless. And a great bit of aiming there by the Vulcan defendants on the Mar on the Murphy's Maniac side. About three and a half minutes remaining on this map, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, Murphy's Maniacs have the manpower with a four to three over Resin Mafia. Silas the Great still playing it low and slow and careful. Shots came in across the way there a few minutes, a few seconds ago by Sweet Bean, unsuccessfully killing or downing anybody. But now, unfortunately, Sweet Bean TK'd. And uh, it looks like Ace of Spades, though, managed to trade with Dub Sham. Luckily, Ace is still alive and Dub Sham. Uh, unfortunately, took the tank in that engagement as Silas begins to also roll out there. We see Sweet Bean here rolling out to go for that res. Now, you know this is going to get exciting here in just a moment when you start seeing those blue lines cross in front of the uplink. Calls 
Sweet Bean's gonna go ahead and peel on out of here. And we see here Zambi in an interesting spot as he makes his play. Look at that long range engagement right there. Zambi down Sweet Bean and Silas picks him off with the final kill. Unfortunately for Zambi, it was Catmid who got the drop on him. Bringing things down to a 1v1 right now. Unless, of course, Zambi can get revived. His teammate Silas is all the way across the field, though. Here's a look at it again. The engagement that brought Zambi to his knees. Now, Silas is going to have to play this extremely carefully. But time's up for carefulness as Silas manages to take home a win for Resin Mafia. Two to one right now, Resin. That gun up in time, unfortunately. And we're going to be diving in for the next one here in just a moment. But man, oh man, oh man, have we had some great moments tonight so far. Over bizarre quarantine. Even, even just the three rounds we've had here on Subway so far. We've seen C4s used. We've seen grenades used. We've seen those reses get used. I think, I think it's a pretty fair statement to say that both teams tonight have played with uh, excellent teamwork as well as uh, excellent cohesion. Well, I, I, you know, I, I actually, I actually think there was one really good play earlier. I, I, I think it was, uh, I think it was for Resident Mafia when they were making this push through the north end of the subway stairs. And you could see all four of them spreading out on the map. And uh, <laughs> it was just a beautiful thing. It was like they just made this, they were just one one person. They just made this spider of, <laughs> of bullets across the field. So with the nine and six right now, Murphy's Maniacs has a little bit of work to cut out, uh, a little bit of work cut out for them to actually take this thing home. Uh, if they go out there and get themselves a cap, that would be absolutely ideal. Alright, let's do it, Murph. You forgot night vision. <laughs> No, I, I, I want, I, I got a frag to throw up down in the tunnel. I'm gonna cook uh oh, that folks, we heard it here. A frag in the tunnel. That's what's sure to come for those resin mafia Vulcan defendants. Scratch one. Already, Dubsham Scratch taking one. down two of the uh, Marsakian attackers on Murphy's Maniacs. Silas picks off Captain Catmint there. 
doing a great job holding the defense. It's a 5v1 situation right now. Here's a look at that again. There's the first pick. I mean, or first pick. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, there it is. There's, there it is. A great job, great job. Craftomic, though. Downing Lebowski, the last Marsakian alive. Murphy's Maniacs, unfortunately, all hit the deck that round. Bringing the current score three and one. Resin Mafia's favor. Hopefully you all have been enjoying this round thus far. Uh, I, I know I've certainly been enjoying casting it, and I certainly didn't expect once again to have such a fantastic lineup tonight between Resin Mafia and Murphy's Maniacs. Uh, some fantastic players, really, really. And uh, if we take a quick look at the kills that last round, which I am, it looks like Dubsham went out there with a seven and three on the KDs, and Silas six and one. Seven and six in the kill columns. Round three on Subway. That's some impressive numbers right there. Captain Catman out there uh, topping Murphy's Maniac Squadron right now. Solid four on the KDs, guys. Folks, that's nothing to be that's nothing to be ashamed of. That right there is solid gaming right there. And we've also seen some solid plays right there coming out of the Murphy's Maniacs. Now let's see if they've got what it takes to hold it down in a defensive strategy. Round five heating up out here. With Murphy's Maniacs on defense and Resin Mafia playing the offense. Will the aggressive team be the one to take home a cap this round? I'd love to see a cap. I don't know about anybody else. I would love to see a cap. We started things off really hot earlier with two caps in the first round. It'd be great to see a cap come around here in the very end. By Murphy's Maniacs or Resin Mafia, either one. I'd, I'd love to see a cap. Looks like Sweet Bean using that C4 to his advantage. Successfully downing two, killing one. Silas, last, uh, still alive over there from that engagement. Could potentially pick up a res. Craftomic is going to pick up that res. Here's a look at it again. Beautiful, beautiful play. A bit of a stalemate out here right now. Captain Kanban, Sweet Bean holding down this alleyway that Silas is considering going down. What's going on on the far side? Framed might be coming through to clear out some of them. A quick trade with Captain. Clears out one, but drops one of the Resin Mafia squad. Sweet Bean plays that defense well. Held it down quietly in a corner. I mean, he was talking a little bit there, to be fair, but the patience paid off. We see more fantastic gaming coming in over here as smokes from all angles begin to fill the void. And Resin Mafia drops a code into that uplink with four Murphy's Maniacs alive around the objective. That Beautiful stuff, folks, and that, that, that's exactly why we're here. VRML gameplay that results in players taking risks, players making new plays, players using the weapons in ways that perhaps they hadn't even gotten the chance to use before. That right there sums up exactly why I love this game, folks. Thank you so much for watching that game. Five and one in the last round, Resin Mafia's favor on Subway.
a four and one on Bazaar and a three and four on Quarantine gives the victory over to the Resin Mafia squad. Wow. Well, thanks, ladies and gentlemen, so, so much for having me, Pig on PC and 4K here tonight. And let's all do a special thank you also for the Sky Joker for being behind the scenes here, doing the camera work, doing the gaming, doing, I mean, not the gaming, but doing all of the behind the scenes stuff that that's required for us to, uh, to enjoy this game the way that we do. If you guys are interested, again, VRMasterLeague.com is how you can partake if you aren't already a member. Thank you so, so much. And everybody have a great night.